Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed those giveaways last week. I'm back here with another video, kind of, yeah. Um, so I work full-time at Blackstone, and the coolest thing is my job at Blackstone is essentially doing what I'm doing right here, okay? So the neatest thing about it is I've been on YouTube for 12 years. Back in the day, I used to try to jump through hoops like circus animals and do anything possible to get people to watch me. Uh, I did it for a long time, trying hunting videos, outdoor videos, outdoor cooking videos, etc. Well, eventually, <clears throat> I started working at Blackstone, a dream come true, and I literally do what I'm doing here, but I do it there professionally. And so I'm able to do everything I ever dreamed of here, but I do it over there. The best musical tracks, going to the locations that I've always wanted to go to to film a video, but I'm able to do them over there. So make sure you're over there watching those because you're not necessarily going to see those here. I don't need to jump through hoops like a circus animal here on my YouTube channel anymore. So what becomes of this YouTube channel? I don't have a clue. Whatever I want to become of it, I'll just put up some uh, content. See, that's the thing, folks. Uh, if you're a smaller YouTuber, I have 61,000 subscribers here, um, you don't have those resources that the dude perfects, the people with 50 million, or the people with a million subscribers have. You're a small channel, you got 50,000, you got 100,000, 200,000 uh, subscribers, you're jumping through hoops trying to please people, begging for views, and I'm just not into doing that. I hate it. I was delivered from that. Um, I remember back in the day one time, hopefully you'll find this funny, I had close to 40 companies that sponsored me with products. I had three knife companies, <clears throat> two potato chip companies, barbecue sauce companies, and it was insane. And the pressure that I had inside of me, always trying to think about how I'm going to include these potato chips in the videos. How am I going to include these knives in the videos? It was insane. I hated it. Um, but now again, so get over to uh, Blackstone Social Media where my Let's Give It A Try show airs every week and there are so many fun videos uh, coming there. You'll see many more uh, coming in the future. Many came in the past, you wanna watch those. This year we've already been in Wyoming, we've been in South Dakota, Nebraska, Texas, here in Colorado, having a blast. So this is some footage here. We went to, where did I go? What video is this? I can't even remember. Uh, Eastern Colorado, out near Lamar, Colorado, to visit my new buddy, um, <clears throat> Cameron. <clears throat> Sorry, got a little bit of phlegm. I just got done uh, snow blowing our neighbor's driveway and our driveway, so came in from the 15 degree weather into a warm house. And um, went out there, filmed a Let's Give It A Try video. Again, you want to watch that on Blackstone social media, Antelope hunting adventure. We did a couple of recipes, we did some wild game processing, had a great time in the field. But the cool thing is, when I'm filming those videos for Blackstone, I'm, I have a singular focus. I'm trying to take the viewer on my adventure, but obviously it's cooking related. And the end game, uh, the end goal is going to be cooking and obviously cooking on a Blackstone griddle. So that's what I'm doing there. It's so much fun. And I'm able to get the footage that I know I need to capture that. So I'm not necessarily getting a bunch of world-class hunting footage that I would put here and try to once again fight to become, you know, the Western hunting game, big, big game channel here, not doing that at all. But I have some extra footage left over that I'm able to piece together to maybe make a fun video just to let you see uh, some more behind the, behind the scenes thing, uh, scenes, things whew, out there on um, the, uh, Nolder Ranch, having a good time. Sorry, I've got a lot of thoughts going through my head right here. But hopefully you enjoy watching this and you want to watch the full video, obviously, with all the cooking and everything over at Blackstone's uh, social media. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below and I'll try to link it here at the end of the video. So hopefully you enjoy some scenes <laughs> from my doe antelope hunt here in Colorado this year. Yeah, I won't go near spiders. <laughs> Snakes! <laughs> You're gonna hear me scream in a high pitch if it comes near me. Don't throw at me. Yikes! <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, my buddy. <laughs> well, we're here with Monty, and uh, Monty's got himself a friend. There we go. 
That's Monty's friend right there. Can you pull him out? We can. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> These are tough people out here. <laughs> oh my We're goodness. Nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> Did it hit? Oh yeah. Son of a gun. Did you hear it? I seen the bullet go. I can't. That's hit. insane. You see, 300 inches. The Eric. bullet drops. That's Eric. insane. Eric, get over there. Well, I'm not shy. I'm jumping jump that, in. That's insane. I don't know where it's hitting now. My goal is to shoot it. Oh, here. Tell me what you're shooting. Here, a thousand yards, six five Creedmoor. Man, how many how many grains uh, it's, of powder? It's one hundred and forty seven uh, Hornady. Okay. And uh, we, we got two boy guns over there. Do the same thing. Bing, bing, Boy, that's bing, a good bing. question. I believe forty eight grains. A reloader, twenty six. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Just look through there and. Bingo! Oh! There's just snakes upon snakes in the freezer. You want to pat him? No. So what's he doing? Like, is he eating them or is he going to like get them taxidermied or what? I don't know. He just freezes them. He likes <laughs> to catch them. With his bare hands. Doesn't he? Mm-hmm. They say that if you defrost them slowly, they'll come back to life because they're cold-blooded. Is that a joke? That's I mean, I've, he say. I've heard stories <laughs> before. Here. Oh, look at that one. Looks like he got ran over. Yeah, he did. So it's a small circular pin like this, they would break the horses in here. And uh, so the spur marks from them getting bucked off was up on the barn up there. But of course, they've put metal on it. It used to be wood. In 1916. 1916. It's roughly about 100 years old. Wow. That looks amazing. The lighting is... The in... cattle have drug all this out. So there's, you know, that's a wood... An old, yeah, an old stove. Or... An old stove. Uh. Oh, so, oh man. Yeah, th this old wood floor, yeah. I want to take it all up and make something out of it, like an old table to put in here, like a big dining room table, yeah. so you could, guys could come out and play cards or eat dinner, you know, or something. But yeah, I asked my grandpa with such a little room, why would you have a closet? And he said, you got to have a closet. <laughs> I think that's where you put the ice is in there. There's a drain, you know, but I guess that's the whole kitchen. <laughs> wow. And if, if the wood stove, I think the wood stove was... Someplace over here. I'm out near Lamar, Colorado with Cameron Nolder. I've been invited to the Nolder Ranch, and we're going to try to do some antelope hunting tomorrow. We're having a blast out here. I guess we should have walked that way. Um, let's go through this gate. Hopefully it'll open. Yep. And we'll come back through this way, make sure we get them all shut. It runs about once a year. If, it, okay. if we get a good rain, uh, it takes about uh, an inch pretty fast, you know, or a couple inches over time and it'll run. And so it runs seasonally about once a year. What time is it? 6 30 a.m. We're in the truck with Cameron. <laughs> Sweet. That's what I'm hoping to find. Sweet taste of success right there, baby. That's funny, yeah, compared to it. You might want to use this for. We'll throw it in there, Samples. yeah. We'll say what started out bad, we'll say turned out to be a pronghorn <laughs> extravaganza. By the end of the night, his bed was stacked with carcasses, right? <laughs> Come on, you gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta back me on that and say yes, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Come on. Tender. How's it smell? It smells good, yeah. Oh, he didn't run. Cameron. He didn't? No. Cameron. 
Are you gonna take a bite of the raw meat? I would do anything if you promised me another antelope. <laughs> Are you guys gonna promise him? Yeah. Do you want to cut these pieces? I got it. <laughs> Wait, how bad do you want to see him take a bite of this raw? Yeah. You can get a million views on YouTube, I'll do anything. Yeah, man. <laughs> Red, redneck eats raw antelope meat. Go ahead. Oh, look at it. so cool. Hey, look out for the boy. You have shows so you can get it. Get his own, like, um, shows. Hi. Oh, it's so cute. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Say hi, Slade. Hi. Hey, is Aaron still in? Good. <laughs> so I'm out in the middle of a field. Um, the guys are with uh, our two sons, and they're out in a side by side, seeing if they can't kick some antelope back this way. Had a little bit of action earlier. Uh, there was a buck right in front of me. Of course, I have a doe tag. So. Uh, is kind of lying in wait here. He said lie in wait by the soap weed. Uh, these are what we call yucca. Yucca, where I live. So I guess yucca and soap weed are synonymous. All right, praise the Lord and pass the pronghorn. There we go. Got one. We're not even going to talk about the uh, <laughs> how many shots it took. Uh, I started like around 300 yards or so, and then I had to finish her off. So good thing was I had just enough ammunition with me not a cartridge extra so <laughs> praise the lord and pass the antelope what do you guys think it's pretty crazy <laughs> big shout out man to my new friend fi here he helped me he helped us find a ton of pronghorn this afternoon and now so fi i was finally able to get it done Cameron there. Hey, say hi. 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 <laughs> Aaron's back there. There's Levi. There it is. So that's the meat wagon for the day. Oh, that sun. Man, you're a lifesaver. Bye. That is a big old doe. Yeah, that's what, that's what uh, Fi said. He's like, man, you killed a big one. <laughs> He's a character. Yeah, oh, man. He's good. He knows how to find them. He's good. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Tons of meat coming home. Cameron, any closing words? It's been a day and seven is for completion. There we go. That'll be a personal secret with us. You'll have to, you'd have to have been here to know what that means. So, so until next time, everybody, Todd and Cameron from Lamar, Colorado saying praise the Lord and pass. The pronghorn. The pronghorn. <laughs>